topic for today is standard deviation. Now, what is standard deviation? As you can see on the screen, standard deviation is the measure of how much a particular thing deviates from its mean. Mean means the average year. It is a measure of volatility. In finance, knowing the concept of standard deviation forms the base. Because as an analyst, when you analyze particular securities, you need to know what is the standard deviation of those securities. Now, standard deviation, as I said, is a measure of volatility. What is volatility? Volatility means, suppose this is the graph of stock A. You know, highly volatile. At one point of time, the price is this. Next day, the price rises to this much. The other day, price falls again to such an extent. Next day, again, the price rises. So you can see it is very wild, very volatile. So we say these are high volatile stocks, stocks with high volatility. So higher the volatility of a particular thing, greater will be its standard deviation. And lower the volatility of a particular thing, lower will be the standard deviation. Lower volatility stock will typically look something like this. It's typically moving within a range. It's not as volatile as compared to what we have seen here. Don't worry if you don't understand. With the help of numbers, things will be pretty much clear to you. Now the formula for standard deviation is the whole root of sigma x minus x bar the whole square upon n. Now, during exam conditions, you have so many formulas to remember. There are chances that you might forget the formula. So it's always better to learn the logic and the derivation of the formula so you can construct the formula on your own as well during the exams. So let us learn the logic of the formula. So with the help of numbers, I'll be teaching you how to derive the standard deviation. Say for example, I'm measuring the standard deviation of the stock returns of Reliance Industries Limited. In year one, the stock has delivered a return of 10%. In year two, it has delivered a return of 15%. Year three, it has delivered a return of again, say 15%. Year four, it has delivered a return of 20%. And year five, it has delivered a return of say 10%. Now, as I said, standard deviation is how much a particular thing, in our example here, the stock returns of Reliance. Deviate from its mean. So as I said, it deviates from its mean. So naturally, I have to first find out the average return over the past five years. The data is right in front of me. So what I do is I start finding out the average. So the average comes out to fourteen. The summation of all this divided by the number of observations. So this sums up to seventy divided by five will give you the average. So average is denoted by x bar. This is what we called x. Now second step is subtract the average from every number. So we denote it by x minus x bar. So 10 minus 14 is going to be minus 4. 15 minus 14 is going to be 1. 15 minus 14 again 1, 20 minus 14 6, 10 minus 14 minus 4. Now bear in mind the summation, the total of x minus x bar is always going to be 0. Why? Because as many numbers as are above the mean, as many numbers are below the mean. So let us see 6 minus 4, this is 2, 1 plus 1, 2 and this is minus 4. So 4 and minus 4. It is always going to be 0. You take any numbers and check x minus x bar is always going to be 0. The summation of x minus x bar is always going to be 0. 
Now this is practically useless for us because it is summing up to zero. So what we do in that case? To make it useful, we square x minus x bar. If I take minus 4 square, it's going to be 16. 1 square is 1, 1 square again is 1, 6 square is 36, 4 square is 16. The total of which comes out to 70 again. Now, what I do is, I divide x minus x bar, the whole square, divided by the number of observations. So, it would typically be x minus x bar, the whole square, divided by n, which is 70 divided by 5. And as you can see in the formula which I have given, I have taken a square root. Now, what is the logic behind taking the square root? Because here we had taken the square, we did not want to take the square in fact, but we took the square because x minus x bar was 0 and to make it useful, we took a square of it. Now to neutralize the effect of taking the square, that's the reason we again take the square root. So we are back to square 1. Now whatever the answer is, 70 divided by 5 is 14, square root of 14 comes out to 3.74. So my friends, 3.74 is the standard deviation percent and this is plus and minus because the square root of any number is plus minus the result. What this signifies that Reliance Industries stock returns on an average have fluctuated by 3.74%. On an average, they have gone up by 3.74%. On an average, they have gone down by 3.74% from its mean. So now I hope you have understood the logic behind the formula and you can construct the formula on your own. Let me reiterate again. So let us have a quick summary. X minus X bar. Why X bar in the first place? Because how much a particular stock return deviates from its mean. That's the reason we need to calculate the mean. Why do we subtract it? Because to calculate the deviation from the mean, we have to subtract it. Now, why square? Reason for taking the square? x minus x bar summation is always going to be 0 as I had explained here. So, that's the reason we take the square and divide it by the number of observations. Now, why square root? Because as I said, the taking of square was necessary to neutralize the effect of x minus x bar being 0. That is the reason we took a square here. Here, x minus x bar was summing up to 0 which was practically useless for us. To make it useful, I had taken square of this. Now, to neutralize the effect of taking a square, I have taken a square root. And finally, I come to my answer. I hope it is clear. Now, just to make things more clear, say for example, during a particular year, Reliance has instead of 10% delivered returns of say 100%. From year 1 to 4, it was on an average delivering returns of 10-15%. In year 5, it delivered returns straight away up to 100%. So now this is a volatile stock because from years 1 to 4 it was moving in this range delivering this much. In year 5 it straight away delivered 100%. Now if you do the mathematics the standard deviation number is going to be higher. Let us see. Average of this comes out to 10 plus 15 plus 15 plus 120 divided by 5, 32. Ten minus 32, minus 22. 15 minus 32 is minus 17. 15 minus 32, minus 17. 20 minus 32, minus 12. 100 minus 32, 68. Now, as you can see here, x minus x bar is going to be 0 as I had explained earlier because those numbers that are above the mean 
as many numbers would be below the mean. So you see 68. Now the summation of all this is going to be 68, negative 68. So practically it is going to be 0. 0 means it's useless x minus x bar. To make it useful, we square it x minus x bar. So 22 square would be 484. 17 square would be 289. 12 square 144 and 68 square is going to be 4624. These are some big numbers. Now sum it up. 4624 plus 484 plus 289. Now you would be able to tell me what to do next. Correct. So 5830 first we have to divide by the number of observations that is 5. So basically 5830 is nothing but x minus x bar the whole square divide by n which I just did here and finally I have to take a square root. So 5830 divided by 5 would be 1166. The square root of which comes out to 34.15%. Now you see, just because the stock delivered 100% returns in year 5, which was way higher than the average, that is how the standard deviation shot up significantly. So, Reliance Industries in my second example was acting more volatile. As you and the standard deviation number confirms it. In first example, the standard deviation was something 3.42% because it was not so volatile. The returns were somewhere in the close range of 15 to 20%. So now I hope you have understood the concept of standard deviation and more importantly, the derivation. Even if you forget the formula during exam conditions, I'm sure you would be able to do it by yourself because now the logic is pretty much clear to you. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please do share it with your friends. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.